Hey, what's up guys, D-Legend here. Um, sorry it's been a while since my last video, but um, I've been busy and last time I tried to post a video was the uh, uh, Moon Gem Cup thing and that just didn't work out with the upload, so I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully this video will upload properly. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I did some pulls already for the Blue Fairies and this is what I got. Um, I finished top 1000 in PvP, um, I probably I could have been top 500, it's just my last battle didn't end fast enough, um, cause the guy had so many extra attack medals, it took forever for, for his builds to go through, um, and so I finished like 10 seconds after the, uh, the last few, like the, the reset hour, so unfortunate, but top 1000 isn't too bad, um, yeah, so these are my pulls, um, I got quite a few tier 1s from the bronze tickets and I got quite a few that I can't really use because I don't have any tier 1 medals right now because I sold them all when the Dalmatian event was out um, even though they were fully guilted because I just had no inventory space and I refused to buy any but it is what it is um, I also have enough for 3 tier 3s and 2 tier 2s um, I also have enough for 1 tier 4 1 tier 5 and 1 tier 6 missing some for the tier 7 unfortunately or else my warrior of light would be a, an instant a uh, seven star medal, but it is what it is. Um, so let's go ahead and pick some, um, let's start from tier twos. We'll pick some tier twos to do, um, and I'll go through why I wanna do, I wanna level these up. Tier ones and tier twos are basically useless for damage. So I'm basically just gonna pick them based off uh, certain characteristics. So tier two medals, um, I'm probably just gonna do a couple uh, magic medals because I need them for my uh, sub slots to unlock uh, further sub slots. I already have KH2 clad with EA and Blackout Riku 2 uh, A uh, it, at 7 star form along with KH Cloud and Pete. Or wait, actually, I don't have time to throw a Pete there yet, but um, I guess it's stronger than Cloud even though Cloud's just been upgraded to a tier uh, 7 star. Let's just pick some blue dudes to do. Or on maybe. Just, uh, it has, like, the multiplier is useless for this metal. It's not a great metal at all, but. VV has extra attack. Not great, but. Again, I don't really care. We can do good old KH2 King Mickey. First metal we ever get in the game for every player, so might as well do it. And I can use these for my sub slots now. So that's all I can do for this. Let's go to tier threes. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for tier fours and fives and sixes yet. So I'm going to hold off on those for now. But I'll let you guys know what I decide on if I do it off camera. Classic Donald wouldn't be a terrible choice, I don't think. I have extra tech on it, I think. Yeah. Not terrible, not terrible. Um... A lot of people have been doing Setzer and then copying it with Copy Metal to do extra damage, but I'm not sure which one I have. I have three copies. This one's boosted, double boosted, because it's naturally boosted as well with the trait boost on top of it. This one has EA, but it only has 56% guilt, and I'm not going to spend mirrors on this guy. And then this guy has ground, and he has 90% guilt, so I might do this one eventually, but I'm not sure yet. As for right now... I don't know. What should I do, guys? Uh, I'm thinking maybe Chip and Dale because just for future events that require me to have gauge restores, it'll also give me uh, upright strength and it'll do a bit more damage, I guess. I think he's the only... Actually, there's a few tier 3... Uh, high score challenge medals like this guy here. But I'm not gonna use him at all, so I'm probably not gonna do that. Maybe just my HPO, who knows? Nah, actually, this one isn't an exclusive metal set, supposedly, so it's not gonna be that great for that. Let's do. What is Ventus's multiplier after this? 6.36, that's respectable. I am one away from 
or two orbs away from guilting this guy, so well, that's not an option. I don't know, guys. I really, like, I know it's not that big a deal regardless, but we can just do this guy because he's EA. And I could potentially use, uh, no, it removes targets, um, status effects, so no thank you. I'm just thinking of what I can use in PvP and other stuff. Oh yeah, my pulls for the blue fairies will be at the end of this video, hopefully, so watch out for that. Yeah, I don't know, I'm having a lot of trouble doing this. Shouldn't be that hard. I'm thinking maybe Zigbar. Yeah, we'll do Zigbar for one of them. Should be a good medal eventually for certain things. We'll just do Classic Donald because why not? He has extra attack. I can potentially use him for a few other things. And this is just for my subslots for the most part, so. And then my last one. Meow Justy, maybe? Let's see his multiplier. 6.71, not bad. I wish I could do this guy. Pretty solid metal, actually. And he's, uh... He's like the WAF medals, and he's like, um, KDGB. Um, in the sense that he does damage to all attributes, like Zigbar. Um. Nope. Maybe this Aqua? No trait, though, so no. No, thank you. I don't know, I'll hold off for now. Um. Let me show you guys what we got for event quests this week and stuff. So we did get the, uh, we finally got a quiz event. So basically what these are are little mini quests um, that have a question in them. And JB gets them all the time and they get free jewels from them. So we get 500 jewels from completing the entire event here. Uh, I'll go into the details a little later. I'll probably do this in a separate video. But, uh, there's, yeah, there's 10 quests and 500 jewels in total, so not bad. Free jewels is always good. And I did beat this, and I did post, try to post a video for it, but the, uh, Moon Gem Cup video just did not want to upload, so I deleted it off my phone. Uh, daily challenge quests I'm not going to do on camera because they're just too much effort to do every single day on camera for you guys, so. You guys can figure it out. I'm sure you guys will figure it out. Um, Kali, I'm doing decent right now. I'm not going to be top 100 this month for sure because I'm stuck already, but um, hopefully eventually I can get higher up and stay in the top 1,000. And then PvP, I, I hate PvP. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's just too much of a struggle to try to stay top wherever, top 500, top 100, top 1,000, wherever you are. Um, let's see the new banner, though. So basically what this is is the new... That's a new series of medals called Prime Medals. And basically what Prime Medals are, are um, we're going to start from Tier 4 and move up. But Senna is going to start releasing Tier 4 medals that are 7 star form. And uh, I'm sure you can get, like this one is, get it within 5 draws. I'm, gonna, I'm assuming most of them will be like this as well, so you can get trades for them. And you're going to have 5 pulls for... Um, this medal and then you're gonna get the seven star on the seventh pull as a mercy pull if you don't mercy it though you can get it early some of my um party members have gotten it really early as well some of them have gotten multiple copies of this guy um and the crazy thing about this is that its multiplier is insane so at seven stars his multiplier is 30.04 which is crazy if you think about it um, even as a tier 4 medal, and he also increases your special attack bonus by 60% as a tier 7, as opposed to 40% as a tier 7. So this medal basically is the new, I don't want to say new EX medal, but they're like a new series of medals that will be released um, slowly as the game progresses. Um, another super important thing about these guys is that they have... Um, five trait slots instead of the normal three or four from that one other metal that like the KH nominee. So normally we get three trait trait slots for a tier um, six and above metal. Um, but these guys have 
five trait slots, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Um, you can get it like for this guy right here. He's a damage dealer, right? So if in a perfect world, you would have ground, aerial, extra attack, because none of those three stack, and then I would have double raids probably, because that would make it an amazing raid metal as well. And then for the raiders out there, I'm sure they're going to go for a boosted copy with triple raids or four raids and one extra attack or something like that. And I'm sure we're going to see a whales like with that with those traits, because people go crazy and then some people get lucky. So it is what it is, guys. But I'm pretty sure Prime. Um, they're just referring to new or, um, like, cause Kai was refreshed or like rejuvenated or whatever. Right. So like, um, I'm pretty sure prime, it just means first or new, um, because yeah, that's just what the word means. Like, so, um, yeah, I don't really know how to explain it further than that, but um, basically I'm just assuming that, um, Prime Metals from here on out will have five trade slots. They'll, st we'll start from tier four, move on to tier five, tier six, tier seven, and onwards. It'll take a while to get to tier five and tier six, so, um, I would hold off on pulling for this guy still, regardless, guys. I know it looks really good right now, but I'm sure there will be amazing, amazing metals that are coming out sooner than later, guys. Um, so don't be stressing out about it for now. And, uh... Yeah, I think that's... I'm going to leave it at that for now, I think. Um, it's not a bad banner, I'm not going to lie. But no, I'm not going to pull for it. And uh, yeah, six days left. And then the Organization 13 event is coming out soon. Today's June 8th. Um, so yeah, five days until that comes out. So stay tuned for a video on that. Because I will definitely be filming a video on that. And hopefully posting it soon. When it comes out. But um yeah for now catch you all soon um hopefully you're not being you don't hate this game as much as i do yet because of the way uh things are with pvp and like the new meta with seven star medals and stuff but um yeah also one more quick thing um the so jp had a an update today i think it is for their tiers for their seven star medals um that improves the multipliers substantially so an example that I can think of really quick off the top of my head is just, um, I think it's HD Riku um, and HD Sora. So HD Riku, I think it's multiplier as a seven star before the update was like 19 or 17 point something at max guilt as a seven star metal. But with the update, it's 29 point something uh, as a seven star metal, which is insanity if you think about it. That like almost doubles the damage it will deal as a seven star metal as opposed to before that new update so i'm not sure if we're getting it um sooner than later but we'll see if we get it at all i'm sure we will because they're trying to keep us um on track with jp i guess so we'll see but um yeah that that will increase the damage substantially so um stay tuned for that update i guess guys um i think that's what the maintenance was supposed to be for tonight but they they skipped it so i'm not sure what's happening now anyways catch you all soon um hopefully i'll post more videos for you guys soon um be sure to stay tuned for the rest of my for the for my pulls for the blue fairies right after this i'll be posting that at the end of this video so catch you all soon guys peace out
Mm-hmm. <laughs>